Hey Pisces, let's go ahead and tap into your reading for today. I'm going to start with your guiding card. A three card Kipper spread that we will clarify with some tarot cards and then we will get into your messages. Okay, everything will be time stamped down below. Feel free to skip around if you would like to. Okay, your card is grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it, okay? Coming into your energy, I'm going to be very honest, okay? I did feel an energy of grief, and for some of you, that could be a very literal and physical grieving of someone, okay? So I just want to put that out there, okay? Let's move forward. The, the funeral card is on the bottom of the deck. We have false person with the number eight. Some of you now, let's move away from that. You also, but you also have the garden, which is the world on the end of the deck. All right. Now, for some of you, this is going to be kind of figurative, figuratively speaking, metaphorically, symbolically speaking. Okay. Um, you're grieving an old self. Okay. And a mask. You're taking off a certain mask or you have outgrown a way of being. Okay. You have the court with the number 23 or five. Okay, you have unexpected money with the number 27 or nine. I like that with the court card. It's a good energy. Some of you could be getting something back in a very official way, like from a system, a court house or something like that. Okay, uh, some of you, this could be something about taxes. The eight of pentacles here. This could be something about work, workers comp. I'm hearing something like that. Okay, clarify grief. Okay, you have the emperor here. The justice card. Ooh. Oh, and the moon. This is a really big change. Okay, this is you dropping a lot of bad habits with the justice card here, which is Libra energy. And we know the south node is in Libra. You have the emperor. Okay, it's called John Horse. And this, this is the hoodoo tarot deck. Um, you have the emperor where the north node is in Aries, clarifying grief. All right, and you have the moon here. So some of you are really healing some emotional issues, okay, that is really going to put you in your power, okay? Talk about grieving an old self, okay? It was something about emotional immaturity, and I don't mean that in like an offensive way, but just, you know, being so quickly swayed by your emotions that you become impulsive or you say things out of turn or you do things you really don't want to do. You, you're out of character you know it feels like that is evolving okay the hermit card and the two of cups and for some of you is with another person it could be within a relationship or some type of partnership clarify false person or some of you have stopped denying another part of yourself i.e your shadow okay clarify false person the three of swords here the eight of pentacles <clears throat> All right, and the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you, I'm getting this quite literally something in the workplace. You could have already been sensing this, okay? Fake friend, okay? You know, something like that. Uh, you know, I'm kind of getting that, yeah. Nine of Swords, Four of Cups. Um, this could be somebody who is like low-key jealous of you. You know, you, you feel this. Whatever that is, I feel intuitively that you've picked up on it from said person and y'all just fake smile in each other's face. Like I said, all of this is breaking down. You gotta, you, so you have this really big theme <clears throat> of authenticity coming through in your reading already. Clarify the court. That's clarified by the three of pentacles, the six of wands in the chariot. Baby, you winning in something legal. Like, that's for sure. That is for sure. Okay. I don't know what else to say about that except that is for sure. Clarify unexpected money. The two of cups, some unexpected money coming through in a partnership. Okay, six of swords and the page of wands. Nine of cups and the four of wands. Some of you, this has something to do like with a home, with a house. Maybe you're getting some money back. Maybe this is like a refinance or something like that, okay? It does feel like it's coming through. This is like shared maybe resources, okay? So check your eighth house. That is the house of shared resources, all right? And money that just kind of comes to you. It's not money that you work for. It's money that comes to you. And that's what I get with unexpected money. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get into love messages first. Okay. Kind of switch it up this week. Let's start with love for Pisces. Damn. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. 
the Knight of Wands. Hmm. Page of Pentacles, somebody's curious. Somebody's learning new things from the world or seeing a new way of life or how life could be. And, you know, this is very youthful energy, whether you're dealing with somebody younger than you, you know, or there's some type of age difference or something like that. This is just curiosity striking someone within this connection. Okay. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups. Judgment. Okay. And the Five of Wands. Okay, so I'm hearing a lot coming through. Like, some of you had to really see yourself as a prize. Okay, especially if you're a person. I don't know if you were dating. You know, y'all were, okay. you know, like, mutually serial dating. You know, dating other people and you guys knew about it. Or this is a thing where um, this person was dating other people and you felt like you were in competition. I just feel like you took yourself out of it, whatever the situation is. And it doesn't have to be that you, you know, completely cut them off, but it's just like, you know what, I'm getting out of this energy and comp of competing. I know, you know, what my power is through my uniqueness. That's what I honor. I don't have to try to be like the next person to, you know, get somebody or get with somebody. Clarify the seven of cups the four of wands here the three of pentacles and the six of swords i really feel like you are releasing somebody you know it's this, it's kind of this energy of like you know let them go and if they come back you know right y'all ever heard that let somebody go and if you know let them go do their thing and if y'all end up coming back together they they say you know hey that's a sign if it's not forced um i am kind of feeling that like you just kind of letting somebody go out and do their thing and being okay with that because some of you are rediscovering yourself and new things about yourself okay so curiosity is all through this connection clarify the wheel of fortune or all through you know it's ver reverberating in your love life clarify the wheel of fortune the page of pentacles yeah the eight of wands something is being set free you guys are releasing each other but it's like a release with love Okay, it doesn't even, like I said, have to be like this permanent severing, um, but it's just like, you know what, let's go explore. Like, let's, maybe some of you are doing this together, but I really don't get that. Eight of Wands, yeah, because there's a sting to it with the Three of Swords. So there is some type of like separation, but it doesn't have to be permanent. The Sun, yeah, Seven of Pentacles, the world. I do feel like there could be an agreement, yeah, Three of Wands, Two of Swords, to come back to this at a later date to see if you guys, you know, still want to do this. It's very interesting very mature though very mature um what's the guidance the empress let it go if it comes back you know the empress doesn't chase it could be a taurus libra another pisces a cancer scorpio you're dealing with okay justice in the page of wands yeah yeah i feel like you guys are releasing each other because you need to there's an imbalance and you guys need to find that like some of you feel like you're missing something you know that you're not going to find what you're missing in another person it's ne that's never the answer and vice versa this person might know that or they're learning that this could be a mutual thing like i said it feels very mature i wish you all the best in that let's go ahead and get to your seven days all right next seven days for pisceans i hope i was not calling y'all cancerians the lovers in reverse the death card in reverse let it fall and i'm gonna put it back it was a ten of swords i don't know if they wanted that to come out upright or in reverse let's pull again nine of swords in reverse all three of your cards in reverse the six of swords here and the page of pentacles more of this exploration energy next seven days something is being set free you are being set free all the things you feel like you've been held back on or not been able to do there is just like this freedom that's coming nine of swords in reverse it's like a lot of stress is leaving you a lot of worry a lot of anxiety it's like you know wow I'm hearing like really going out and satisfying a lot of your curiosities. Okay. Lovers in reverse. The four of swords. Yeah, a lot of things you've been thinking about, but you've been too weighed down. Ten of wands. Look at the eight of wands behind that. You're picking up speed and momentum. Six of wands. You are rubbing shoulders with more people. There's more eyes on you. You're more social. Clarify the death card in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles, the Hangman, there you go, and the Ten of Pentacles. 
some of you this is a release of like some type of familial like a family responsibility right like i feel like these cards wouldn't suggest that but me intuitively feeling that some of you are releasing something that felt like a burden it's okay it's a safe space you can admit that here sorry something that felt like a burden okay so some of you are really releasing that okay some of you work with your hands and something or you've been feeling some pain in your hands i'm kind of feeling that something some of y'all might have like some uh what do they call it arthritis a oh, room i'm getting it wrong whatever clarify <laughs> nine of swords in reverse carpet tunnel two just came through okay ten of wands yeah two of wands what are you gonna do with all this freedom that's what i'm hearing what are you gonna do okay because i'm hearing idle hands okay okay i'm hearing an idle mind idle hands okay you need to you need to figure out what you're gonna do because you're about to have a lot of freedom three of swords and the two of wands i'm hearing that kanye song um and john mayer is a bittersweet bittersweet you're gonna be the death of me i don't want you but i need you i love you and hate you at the very same time bittersweet all right so something is bittersweet but i feel like the freedom of something is really exciting to you what are they releasing the page of cups the seven of swords and the emperor oh this feels like sage's reading you've been kind of passenger driving backseat driving in your own life type of thing but it's because you had a lot of responsibilities like i said a lot of duties now you're really north node aries the emperor stepping into your purpose the driver's seat of your life more control okay it reminds me of like the pre the preacher's kid who's very stifled and you know no offense you know but i'm just talking about that stereotypical example of a preacher's kid who's very sheltered and stuff and then they get that they get to college and baby they buck wild with all that freedom okay so spirits like you need to figure out what you want to do with all this freedom because it's coming okay some of you if this is freedom from a relationship or a marriage because i'm hearing what you gonna do with all that junk all that junk inside y'all junk okay <laughs> don't don't go overboard with the freedom what's the guidance the high priestess and the six of swords stay in alignment have your fun stay in alignment okay there was wisdom learned in whatever the season is and you are expected to integrate that wisdom into your next decisions okay king of swords confirms it he ain't dumb and he's not being just purely driven by emotion and passion there's it's in there but then he like you know calculates other things other factors as well okay he ain't dumb <laughs> all right let's get your next um let's get career and earthly abundance i'm sorry i think we did your uh love messages all right career and earthly abundance guys here we go you have the moon you have the three of swords and you have a justice card, okay? I'm hearing wrongly something, wrongly something. Okay, queen of wands, five of pentacles. Double check your um, pay stubs or something like that. Double check your check or something like that. There could be like a, it doesn't have to be intentional, but there could be like a misstep or something where you're getting paid less and it should have been more. The overtime's not on the check. Something like that there, okay? Very specific message, clarify the moon. Ten of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Cups. Some of you could have taken a break from work, judgment here, or just pulled back energetically. All right, some of you are getting quite annoyed with having so much responsibility on you. Okay, clarify the Three of Swords. Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, some fake energy at work, dude. What is that? People want to be where you are, but they don't want to put in the work. People want to take credit for your work? The tower, the devil? God damn, the hangman, the eight of swords. I'm hearing like got you hemmed up. Okay, so yeah, there could be some real power plays, some power struggles going on, especially if there's like a superior, a boss, a manager or something. 
playing petty games, okay? You will be in the um, and you you will be in the the on the victorious side of that. Justice. Yep, justice was clarified by the Five of Swords. And I get the sense like you don't have to do anything because the Empress is there. Um, what is this? Ten of Swords energy, the Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Has someone tried to like get you fired or something? Like that's weird. It's pure like jealousy. Like I don't know. It's like a lot of people like you at work or show you love like you're honestly revered or you honestly love what you do and you're around people who don't and so they half-ass their job and come in with bad attitudes and everybody gravitates towards you and it's something like that okay i'm just picking up on the energy how will this resolve itself for piscians The Nine of Wands, the Tower and Judgment. I feel like you're just going to kind of be a fly on the wall. Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords. I'm hearing it's not the first time. King of Cups, Six of Pentacles. So whoever this is, I'm kind of getting this somebody who's been there for a while. I'm hearing seniority. So, you know, it could be one of those people who they hate. They, they, they just hate for the, the new bloods to come in, for the that next generation of people to come in and they feel threatened. It's like politics, you know, all these old people who have been just like recycled through the political system just trying to like hold on to a place that is just like needs to evolve okay it really feels like that what's the guidance for Pisces here two of pentacles the page of pentacles you might have some offers coming in okay eight of wands and the eight of cups wow yeah you definitely might have some offers to weigh okay or maybe even taking on another responsibility or task here anything else let me get one more on that please they gave me two the wheel of fortune both year cards jupiterian energy and the hangman wow and the death card here some of you this could be like a level up mm -hmm. and the king of cups here whatever this is like nothing stopping you this outside energy is not stopping you it's so long as you do not engage it and also you know i don't want yeah don't you know you're in work keep it professional i'm not saying confront anybody but don't go along to get along you know what i mean like if you know you and that person are not really cool, like, yeah, you don't have to be buddy-buddy with them. They are your work friends. I feel like Pisces, we've had that talk before. You ain't got to be best friends with your coworkers, okay? You really don't. It does not make you anti or a bad person. Yes, you want to have a cordial environment. You want to have a pleasant workplace. Yes, that is a difference, right? We can all be professional, okay? But you ain't got to be best friends with folks, okay? You don't have to force these friendships, okay? what i have for you pisces i love you i pray these messages find you well and with love and i will catch you in the next one bye